this week was a little challenging. This week we have a client dropping off a classic Defender. He wants to keep it retro, but add a little modern West Coast Customs twist to it. So I'm gonna sit with Musa and cook up some ideas. Musa, look up. Got another one for you. This one is a classic Defender. I sent you an email with a couple thoughts from the client. He wants to really give the exterior a refresh, but the interior to make it feel a little bit more modern. Do you want it um, gloss or matte? I think we do it satin. Satin. Yeah. And then we do the trim on it gloss black to kind of give it that, like this truck he sent, because I yeah. think he really likes that truck. For the exterior, maybe a skid plate in the front, maybe some cool side steps, mm -hmm. bigger wheels and tires, custom center console, you yeah. know, so it's more modern. So he has some plugs for, you know, chargers and cup holders and things like that. But it doesn't have to be crazy. So yeah. don't lucify this one. <laughs> Keep it simple. It's gonna be nice. All right, you have 32 right. minutes to get it done. <laughs> 32 minutes? Yes. We got the rendering done, client approved it. Now the first step is get the truck fully broken down so we can move it into the body shop, get ready for paint. And then I have Alex working on the interior redesign since that's really where the modern style is gonna come into. <laughs> We decided to start with the center console before we remove the seats and take them to the upholstery room. And this is gonna be the center console. What we did in here, obviously, you know, cup holders, cell phone holder, we're gonna have some USB port charge. There's an actual subwoofer built in into the center console. The whole point of redoing this Land Rover is because we wanna make it more futuristic looking, more, you know, newer, you know, with a retro feel. Hey guys, here's a quick little update on we're at on the Land Rover Defender. As you guys can see, me and the boys are currently masking it off for paint. We're getting it ready so we can spray it and stay tuned for more. Okay, ya estamos listos para pintar la Defender. Vamos a hacer dos combinaciones. En el body color, me pidieron a uh, un color a uh, metálico y el otro va a ser a uh, negro brilloso en el body color vamos a hacer el acabado de laca mate y en el otro que son los accesorios molduras gendos vamos a hacer el acabado negro brilloso Now that Joanne is done with the bodywork and paint and the defenders out of the spray booth, we're gonna have Renee start assembling the exterior. All the nice parts that came out, all the aftermarket stuff is gonna be going back into the exterior. The omen is actually done with all the upholstery as well. So I'm gonna start assembling the interior. We're gonna do all the wiring, all the sound system, all the lighting, it's gonna come out really nice. Show 
show you how we're gonna fabricate right here this kit plate for this Defender. The first tool that we're gonna use is this dimple machine. I got my aluminum plate. I already perforated everything so I can go ahead and get the diameters that I want uh, to achieve so I can dimple them. This is the machine that I'm using, the dimpleizer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh yeah. As simple as you can see. Ta-da! Nice! Whoop. Buenas tardes, eh, les quiero explicar que hicimos una Land Rover, hicimos los, los eh, asientos de enfrente y los asientos de atrás, se hicieron en un leather brown con double stitch y los inches se hicieron en black suede, con unas líneas de taco roll, no, no se ve el hilo, eh, atrás y enfrente, todo fue lo mismo. So this build really, you know, was perfect. Paint turned out amazing, interior looks awesome, sound system sounds great, but I ran into one big problem, myself. I sent this rendering off to the client, now I'm in a point where I sent him pictures of how great it looks to me and he says, Ryan, what happened to the hard top in the side door glass? And I'm like, uh, oops. I wanted to try to blame it on Musa a little bit. I was trying to blame it on you. <laughs> but honestly, like this is one of those builds where I think I was moving just a little too fast. Didn't really realize everything we were doing. Didn't have a proper scope of work. And now here we are. So I'm gonna sit with Musa and figure out what parts are missing so we can get this thing finished and off to the client. Oh boy. Musa. What is this? I don't like that sound. <laughs> I don't like that sound at all. Can you please pull up the <laughs> rendering of the Defender? So I sent him pictures of it, excited that we're done. And he said, when are you doing the hard top and side glass? I was trying to blame it on you. <laughs> I need to find this roof and I need to find the side glass. Well, it's, it's, it's based on a European version of Defender, <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> Maybe that should have been in my scope of work or yeah. notes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we can, somebody can source this. A kit, a fiberglass piece, okay. maybe an old one that somebody took the hard top off. Cause yeah. his is a soft top. Mm -hmm. I know they came hard With top. With hard top, yeah. yeah. But not both. Yeah, I so just maybe, have to double check, make sure the dimension is, you know, usually different region has different, you know, make sure it fits, but okay. should be good. Yeah. See what you can find. Okay. Thanks Moose. <laughs> <laughs> so the top is finally here. Now it's time to get it on the truck and get the truck to the client. So the Defender is done. Yes, we had a couple little hiccups, but it turned out amazing. It's rugged enough for the mountains and stylish enough for the city.